These are the same length paracord. One might be better for a key fob, the other might be better for a lanyard. They're the same length of cord internally. The difference is this has one figure eight loop in its construction and this has four. Uh, so if you want a small, short, fat design, you want to use many short figure eights. If you prefer one thin, des long, thin design, use fewer figure eights in the construction. So here's a piece of paracord. You put the knot at the end, and now you make a big, long, single figure eight, and then you wrap the cord. And I'm going to show you some construction tricks as we do this. Say you're wrapping the cord like such, and you discover you have too much. Oh no, what am I going to do with all this extra cord? And the answer is you cinch down the cord, and that gives you a lot more space. I'm going to use that trick again. The uh, loop goes through here. Now let's tie off the fast rope. Just making a quick dirty design for the video, but the more time you spend with these, the cleaner you make them. Okay, so I have cinched off the end of the fast rope, and now we pull the loop and the stopper knot by pulling the lanyard hole up top. This one's tight. There we go. So there's a single loop figure eight design. And if you want to clean it up, what you can do is either roll it between your two hands or roll it on a flat surface. And that helps you make it into a nice straight line. Once you're experienced, you can figure out exactly how much rope you need so that you won't have any excess at the end. But if you're a beginner, what you can do is just cut this off and singe it uh, with the lighter. Same deployment rules apply to either design. If you have a secure circle up top you're connected to and you cannot open that circle, what you do is you deploy out the top. And you do that by removing the stopper knot, untying it. And once you've undone the stopper knot, then you can deploy out the top. If, however, you can detach from the device that your fast rope is connected to, then there's no need to undo the knot at all, you just pull it.